Hey guys, welcome to Tetris Tutorial. In today's video, we'll learn about how to use a vidIQ extension on Chrome. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So today, we're going to go ahead and explore the vidIQ and if you're actually looking on how to grow your YouTube channel, this tool is very perfect for you. So to get started with vidIQ, you'll just need to click the link in the description box below to kickstart your journey in vidIQ for free. Now, before we head on to the step-by-step -step guide on to how to do that, we'll just do a quick overview first so that we'll know what vidIQ is all about. So this is actually a powerful YouTube certified browser extension or tool and suite of tools designed to help content creators optimize their videos, boost visibility, and also grow their YouTube channel. So these actually provides valuable insights and analytics to enhance your video strategy. So as you can see, here are some of the content creators that uses vidIQs or trust vidIQ. So we have our Evan Carmichael, Marina Mogolico, and Chad Wilkley. So as you can see, here are some of its subscribers and their views, and there are also some reviews or their testimonies onto using this specific platform. So in summary, this vidIQ is a comprehensive toolkit for YouTube creators offering insights, optimization suggestions, competitive analysis to help them maximize their reach and success on the platform. So as you can see, they also have an AI coach so you can unlock your 24 7 AI coaching companion using GPT-4 your YouTube channel and the ultimate YouTube coach you could start chatting using that also you could boost your YouTube views just discover keyword title and description recommendation designed to get you more views and subscribers for free now also with artificial intelligence bacon you also have here the AI co-pilot when it gives you the daily ideas which gives you personalized inspiration to boost your growth so these will save you hours researching, see into the future, and break new ground. Now you could also supercharge your YouTube channel today just by signing up for a free account here on vidIQ and join the millions of creators using vidIQ to grow their channel. Now as you can see, you can just sign up for free and it is just a straightforward process. You'll have the option in here to sign up using your Google account and just click onto the account that you want to use. Or you could just type in an email and password and click on to sign up. So by clicking sign up and Google or sign up with email, you should agree with vidIQ's terms of service and privacy policy for that one. So you could just click onto the specific links in here so that you'll get redirected onto each. Now, personally, I try to use sign up with Google all the time so that I don't have to enter my email and password. I'll just go directly onto my account and I don't really need to remember those specific things. Now, right after a quick sign-up process or logging in, you should get redirected onto this page or the homepage or dashboard of vidIQ. So here, onto the upper part, you should see the logo, the daily ideas, AI generator, keywords, competitors, AI coach, and upgrade button. So here, onto the upgrade, you should be able to see the different plans that vidIQ offers. So we're currently using the free plan, and there are actually top two options, the monthly and annual. So the most popular one is Boost, which is $49 per month. We have the one-on-one -on -one coaching at $99 per month, and the Pro at $10 per month. And as you can see, if you head here onto the bottom part, you should be able to see the different features that it offers. Now going down further, you should be able to see more. And also you could see the enterprise in here. If you wanted to manage more than five channel, you could go ahead and chat with them in here and you can manage your plan here onto the bottom part. So you'll just need to choose onto which plan you want to use, but we're currently using the basic one or it is actually showing active in here for that one. Now going back onto the dashboard, here are some of the things that we could see in here. So we could actually see your account settings in here. So if you click onto the drop down, you should be able to see your account. Also some channel settings if you want to add additional channels. So you need to upgrade to boost so that you could use three channels, the extras, wherein you could refer a friend, you could see the vidIQ rewards, the vidIQ academy, the affiliate center if you're using this. Also, we have here the settings, account settings if you want to change to a theme in here from light theme or dark theme and the logout button. Now going back here, so since we're just starting out onto our account, you should be able to see a get started option in here so that you should be able to see the step-by-step -step guide or more like a tutorial on how to use the vidIQ 
directly. So let's try to install first the vidIQ browser extension. So just have to click onto the link in here. Then right after, you'll get redirected onto Chrome Web Store. So here onto the Chrome Web Store, you should be able to see the Add to Chrome feature in here. You'll just have to click onto this button to successfully add this onto your device. So click onto Add Extension, and that should be it. Onto adding the extension onto your browser. And now as you can see, once you've gone ahead and downloaded the vidIQ, it will gonna go ahead and prompt you onto this page wherein it says that the installation was successful. So you'll just need to sign up again for this one. Sign up using your Google account or sign in using your email and password. And then if you have an account already, just log in, in here to proceed. So we'll just type in those details that are asked. And then right after, once you're actually done with this, once you head back onto your YouTube account, you should be able to see different things or it might be different already. So as you can see, this is just an example of our YouTube channel. So you could see this more like pop-up thing in here onto the upper parts. You could see the hours watch it, the views, views or the short views, the minutes watch it, and many more. So there might be a lot of information. And if you want to refresh the status of it, you'll just have to click onto the bottom onto the upper part for that. So you could actually just close this one and you could actually bring it back and then right after so there are a lot of details for that one also here this three horizontal lines you could see the daily ideas your competitors the trend alerts and most viewed channel audit keyword inspector achievements vidiq academy and vidiq rewards so you'll just need to click onto the specific things so that you'll get redirected to that one and also onto this part in here if you click onto the street dot you could go ahead and see the advanced embed and you could also add in a competitor so there might be some differences onto how your YouTube looks like since before, since this is just for the recent or the history or is the suggested YouTube videos. Now you could go ahead and see the vidIQ basics in here. So you could supercharge your YouTube channel, unlock the most advanced growth tools for creators, just what we've mentioned earlier with the different plans. You could also see the AI coach in here, wherein you could ask how do you get more subscribers on the channel. You could ask for three similar ideas for the channel and summarize this video in here, analyze the hook and why the this video do well or poorly so there is an overview for that the vidIQ score so this is the popularity of a video based on engagements and views relative to other videos on YouTube so 99 to 100 would mean that it is in the 99 percentile of videos on YouTube built on an equal weight of views and engagement here beside it is the video that is currently getting 1.8 views per hours which is 26.2 less than this video's average views per hour of 28 and actually you can see also how many are viewing this specific video and the duration of that specific video that we're currently watching right now so there is also or you could view the thumbnail in here you could see the social engagement here which is average so this is the measure of discovered engagement as a percentage of total views also you could see in here the engagement for that and if you want to connect to get more fp steps so you could authorize facebook for this and you can see the seo compare views in the first 28 days so this video and this channel is average the video optimization checklist the channel the video tags its topics and also some of its channel tags so you could make use onto the different things in here so that you could also use this onto your own content generation or youtube video so that you could get more views just by using the vid iq and that's just basically it on to the vid iq and if you think this has been helpful to you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thanks for watching and we'll see you on to our next video